Coming back with another bulls eye of a tutorial today on the channel. So I wanted to talk about a legendary, legendary channel strip, the Neve 88 RS, and how I like to use it in a bunch of different ways to get a warm but modern mainstream vocal sound. So let's not waste no time. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and drop more video suggestions down below. So here we go. Don't think about it, just take it off and take it out on me I know you stressed out, lonely, needing affection Dressed up and feeling left out, feeling rejection Not my intention Te lo digo, yo lo miro su destino El verte conmigo es su castigo You need intellectual, sensual stimulation That's sexual, that's spiritual, get at you conversation Me pone duro esperando tu mensaje Acuéstate para que descanses con un mal Okay, so you guys got a general understanding of the type of song that we're working here with here today. Really dope song from the artist, very smooth type of love making, baby making type of music. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing about it. Usually when I think of a, 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 a channel strip, I always think about it in a situation where I'm back in elementary school playing around with that Crayola crayon box. Different channel strips have a different color, you know, just depending on the circuit, the circuitry, and also sometimes the error that they're made in they all kind of have like their own texture their own type of tone musically that they can apply to a vocal so i i love using something like a uh neve 88 rs and this is the uad version the legacy version also i think uh plugin alliance makes a version that is not the 88 rs but in the same family which is the bx console n so if you guys don't have uad you can try that one out but yeah the uad a legacy version i'm using here i like using the neve 88 rs when i want to get a warm but modern type of sound because a lot of the times those throwback don't 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 throwback channel strips you know they have certain components that can roll off the high end or you know have a certain way they handle a vocal so when i like to use something like this right the Neve ADARS was not actually made by Rupert Neve. So Rupert Neve had ended up like selling his company, um, you know, and everything like that. So he he later went on to do like Focus, right? That was his company too. And then also, uh, which, which one? Rupert Neve Designs. That was his last company before he passed away, unfortunately. But yeah, he did not make the Neve ADARS, but it has his name on it. And this was made sometime, I believe, in the 90s when they were trying to compete with something like an SSL E, uh, you know, Channel Strip SSL G, you know, that's was kind of really dominating the world and yeah the thing about this um you know neve 88 rs is it actually has a vca type of compressor in it so i like to use this vca circuit right here right when i want a situation where i want to add a little bit of energy to a vocal so even though the overall channel strip is very warm i'm using that compression circuit to bring in a little bit of energy to the vocal I know you stressed out, lonely, needing affection Dressed up and feeling left out, feeling rejection Not my intention Te lo digo, yo lo miro su destino El verte conmigo es su castigo You need intellectual, sensual stimulation That's sexual, that's spiritual, get at you conversation Me pone duro esperando tu mensaje Acuéstate para que descanses con un masaje Escápate conmigo esta noche Girl, use me, apriétame, no flojes tus paredes, don't lose me, duérmete y te despierto. Swoosh. Okay, so most importantly, when I want to get a warm but mainstream tone, I like to use this channel strip. And the thing about it is that VCA circuit is kind of different from an SSLE, where SSLE is really bitey, grabby. It's really good for like rock and roll and rap. This one it has a VCA circuit too that is a little bit more warm. It's a little bit more pleasing to the ears, right? So I like to use the Neve ADRS, this version, which is the legacy version, because it does not include the preamp section. So when it comes to a situation, we already know like the filters and everything like that and the eq you know very musical eq that i love to apply uh here on this vocal specifically i was just boosting a little bit of that super airy top i love how the eq um here the the, the curves are you know on that bit the, the curves on the vase i love how they sound here on the eq and i was just kind of like boosting a little bit of high end it has a really nice pretty uh you know high end to it uh let me bring it in and out what it sounds like without the eq section but yeah just using this to uh, you know, take off a little bit of bottom, boost a little bit of top, kind of rework in the mid range and the high end. 
You calling him no answer, a text with no reply He ignores you, takes you for granted, I hear you cry Ya no llores por ese ignorante, es un cobarde Perdido tiempo no puede comprarte I know you tired of the lies, the excuses The truth is the love that you giving them He abuses, es tu prometido Y solamente te pido que no recibas a pedido So it's something that's extremely subtle And that's a great thing about something like the Neve ADRS Usually when I think of the Neve ADRS I think of this guy right here His name is Tom Elmhurst And he's actually the engineer for Adele So he makes rolling in the deep you know, from Adele Using his Neve ADRS console and if you pay attention to that that song from Adele rolling in the deep, it sounds really big and really wide open. So that's the beautiful thing about something like a Neve ADRS. It helps the vocals and the whole mix in general sounds really bright. Um, not necessarily too bright, but just kind of like a glow. That's what I would say exactly. Kind of like on your iPhone, you know, like you you pull out the flashlight. Ooh. You pull out the flashlight, but you, you kind of like dim it down a little bit to where it's not too bright. So that's kind of what it does to a vocal, something like a Neve 88 RS. All right. And uh, another thing here, too, is that one of my subscribers said, hey, Nick, you know, there's actually a preamp, right? An audio interface that includes two microphone preamps from that legendary Neve 88 RS, uh, you know, console into a modern day, you know, audio interface. And he asked me, you know, what do I think about something like this? Personally, I don't think a product like this is too compelling because that Neve ADRS, I feel like it's it, it kind of is limited. And on top of that, it's, it's just one specific sound. Why would you do that when you could get something like an Apollo Twin that costs a little bit less money that can give you like a Neve 1073 sound, an API sound, manly sound, you know, uh, you know, all those other tube, you know, 610 preamp sounds. You can get a bunch of different color crayons in, you know, in the box that will allow you to be a little bit more artistic versus where a preamp like this, a Neve 88 uh, M USB audio interface, I'm sure it's a great interface, but, you know, to my subscriber who said, what do I think about this? I don't think this is a compelling enough interface at this price. And I think maybe if, you know, the company does see this uh, video, I think they could make it a little bit better if they say, okay, you can get a, like a Neve 1073, like we got our Neve technology, you can switch it out to a 1073, a 1084. Okay, we also have some native plugins here like a Neve 33609, a, a Neve 2254, you know, a 1084 EQ. I think that would make something like a product like this a little bit more compelling. But I feel like uh, you know, an Apollo twin is always better, you know, because you get you just get more colors. You get more, you know, lemon pepper, honey garlic, you get uh buffalo, blue cheese, you get more flavors out of that one interface. So um a great way when it comes to actually recording with the Neve ADRS, I wanted to bring up this video I did right here. This is a, a video how to like record vocals like NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy's engineer, Jason Goldberg, he loves to use a Neve 88 RS. He loves to use these settings, just like a little bit of preamp, mic pre, and a little bit of compression tapping at 1 to 2 dB along with the sphere microphone which i have and i think that's a very deadly combination if y'all ever try out the sphere microphone or just try out like on the uad the neve ada rs with these settings it really gives a very warm but mainstream tone so i think that's dope how somebody like tom elmhurst you know who's mixing for adele can get some juice out of this and somebody like jason goldberg who's nba young boys engineer he could still get some sauce out of it it just kind of shows you how versatile a um you know a, a a plugin like this is so the last thing i wanted to talk about too is you know mixing with intention right so as soon as i heard the lyrics of the song how he was kind of like being like you know flirtatious with his lyrics i already knew at the gate i gotta use me a um you know very smooth type of vocal chain so i started off with a uh uh you know a uh, CL1B, which is an optical compressor. And optical compressors are usually a little bit slower, but also giving me my brightness. So let's see how I went about doing this kind of a smooth swag, you know, love vocal chain. I know you stressed out, lonely, needing affection. Dressed up and feeling left out, feeling rejection. Not my intention. Te lo digo, yo lo miro su destino. El verte conmigo es su castigo. You need intellectual, sensual stimulation. That sexual, that spiritual, get at you conversation. Me pone duro esperando tu mensaje. Acuéstate para que descanses con un más. So, most important thing, you hear that kind of like that throwback. Lex Luger Bell inside of the beat, bing, that kind of lets me know how 
how bright can I make my vocals? I couldn't make it super digital and bright because two bright signals will kind of start to be like a cat on a little catnip start scratching your ears and shit like that. So I know out of the gate, as soon as I heard the raw vocal, I have to approach it with a smooth high end. So that's what made me pick this plugin, you know, the, the, the tube tech co one b The tube is giving me a smooth top of um high end. And then after that, what I did is I used something like Spectre, right? In combination with my Neve 88 RS to give me my high end. So I used this Spectre right here, which is doing saturation to, to boost my high end. And I'm using uh the clean mode as well. I know you stressed out, lonely, needing affection Dressed up and feeling left out, feeling rejection Not my intention Te lo digo, yo lo miro su destino El verte conmigo es su castigo You need intellectual, sensual stimulation That's sexual, that's spiritual, get at you conversation Me pone duro esperando tu mensaje Acuéstate para que descanses con un masaje so it's like the vocal is a shining light, but it kind of has like a little Snapchat filter on it. It has a little Instagram filter on it that's kind of pulling that light back a little bit, that's dimming that light back a little bit so it's not too harsh on, you know, what a filter would do on the eyes, but on the ears, you know, so just doing a little bit of a brightness right here. So, um, you know, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about because when it comes to achieving those bright vocals, it's all about, you know, having a mindset right out the gate, you feel me? Rather than trying to get all of the brightness from, you know, just straight up cranking up like a fresh air or something like that, you can use a little bit here, a little bit there, you know, a dollop of sugar here, a dollop of salt here, a dollop of whatever type of ingredient you want to slowly get to that final dish, which is those smooth pro mainstream vocals and something like the Neve ADRS is perfect. You could record with it on the way in and kind of get that smooth starting point right out the gate. But I just love this type of channel strip and wanted to bring it to y'all because it's really versatile, you feel me? It's really like the perfect medium between throwback and brand new you feel me it's like a, a vintage car that still got that fresh paint job on it type shit so yeah this is pretty much the end of the video here today i just want to say thank you so much for being a great part of my youtube family don't forget to like comment and subscribe and um also suggest more video ideas down below appreciate y'all now youtube peace